Well, bad medicine is our topic for tonight. That's what we're talking about with Carl Reynolds and BJ Servant. Gentlemen, let's continue with an email question from Adrian. Adrian has a medical mal malpractice question. You have to say that really slow. Medical malpractice. And her question is, is a MRSA infection considered medical malpractice? Can you begin, first of all, by defining what MRSA is? What type of, what is that? That is generally the way they refer to what is called a MRSA staph infection. Um, and the, the sad fact of the matter is that anytime you go into a hospital, you are at risk for, for getting an infection. Uh, you know, hospitals do all they can do. Most hospitals have protocols to, to prevent infection. But there, there's always a chance that you will get an infection. It may be a staph. It may be one that, that they can treat and get rid of easily. MRSA is a particularly bad one that, uh, that can cause a lot of, lot of uh, uh, bad effects. But generally speaking, it, since it is a risk of going into the hospital, it is not. Uh, I don't know if I've ever told this story before, but we had a, a client. We, we actually sued an oil company because it was a splashback from uh, a gasoline pump and he was badly burned and he was, he was helicoptered over to the burn clinic in Augusta. And you know, the, the thing that, that, that usually causes death in those cases is, is either dehydration or infection. So it kind of plays into both cases. But on that particular case, this, this client had been there for almost six weeks and they had done the, the, the stuff that they usually do with the burn victims by putting pig skin on him and, 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 and doing the uh, daily routine that they did. And then in six weeks, he was actually up and walking around with a robe and, and bedroom shoes. At about the same time, there was a young man who was in a bad wreck a uh, hundred miles away. He was also flown into that burn unit. He had a staph infection when he was admitted. He was badly burned. That's why they sent him to the same burn unit. He was admitted to the same burn unit with a staph infection and the staph infection ran rampant through the entire burn unit in that hospital and every single patient died, including oh, wow. ours. Um, we, we looked at, uh, well, the, the, the case against the gasoline company for the flashback, of course, went on. Uh, any potential case, however, against the, the, the burn center was uh, investigated not only by us, but by several people. And they, they follow very strict protocols and they're very uh, uh, compulsive about the way they do it. There was no negligence on the part of anybody in that hospital or that burn unit. That, was, that goes under the category of what BJ mentioned earlier. Sometimes just really bad things happen to good people. And, and I'll add this, that in those kinds of settings, the, the physicians are all good and they're all caring and they're all there to help people and, and, and eliminate pain and, and, and cause healing uh, for injuries and, and for mm -hmm. sickness. Uh, it's very rare that you actually have a clear medical malpractice. Mm 